take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Mel Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Mel Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. By the way, I didn't tell the crew to come in with that Mike Judge intro he cut for me at his house last year. Yeah, I'm good friends with Mike Judge. We go shooting and listen to rockabilly music all the time. He lives here in Austin part of the time when he's not out in Los Angeles with his HBO show and the rest of it. And, and the reason I bring him up is to not name drop uh, maker of Idiocracy and so many other masterpieces, Extract, you name it. The reason I uh, bring him up is he said in, in an interview we did last year that he's scared to even be somewhat libertarian because they'll try to censor him and persecute him and come after him. And he talked about the Hollywood Mafia. And, of course, we've talked a lot about that privately. I, I can mention it because he didn't say, you know, it's off record. Uh, it's just I, I know a lot of other people in Hollywood, even bigger than my judge, who's probably, you know, got a billion-dollar franchise on his hands or more, was King of the Hill, Beavis and Butthead, the rest of it. And even at that level, they try to keep him on a short leash because they're not real liberals, folks. Mike Judge is a real liberal. I know him very well. He's into freedom. Uh, and these people that say they're liberals, they're not, is what I'm getting at. And one other point, Cass Sunstein, six years ago, when he was entering the White House, as the White House regulations are, look this up, said, we're going to create all fake alternative media and go out and create infighting. And we're going to infiltrate the mainstream media like Fox News and like Drudge Report, if we can, and others, and destroy them. Now, that was actually in Politico a few years ago because they bragged to them. Media Matters, run by the White House, said we want to infiltrate and sabotage from within. I mean, th th this is a war for them to get our kids, to get our guns, to get our property. They are usurpers that pose with the fake moral high ground. And so I want to point that out. That's why I've taken the, the clear example f for 18 years, 19 years on air, but the last three or four, clearly, that I will not attack someone who is a real libertarian or a constitutionalist. Short of you trying to stab my children. You do that, I'll take care of you. 
But we have got to unify around free speech, property rights, constitution, or we're done. We're done. Forget the labels. Mark Dice, I give you the floor. We're going to come back with more examples in the next hour with you. But you've just gone through censorship and come to the other side because you were big enough to have a support base and because we had some contacts. I predict you would have gotten your channel back already. Uh, you know, I talked to you today, and, of course, it went through and did happen. But it would have been a week or so before it went up to the right channels. But for most people that aren't big like you are, you don't have, you know, the connections. Uh, most people just get censored. And there is an intensifying censorship where Navy SEALs put out memes about Benghazi on their official Navy SEAL Facebook, and they get shut down. Uh, or you criticize Obamacare, you get shut down on Facebook or Reddit. You know, these people are censoring and lying about it, and they're dirtbags. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to have such a big and dedicated following that they applied a 24-hour pressure on YouTube, and I was trending on Facebook, and to have you uh, watching my back as well. But if some you know, smaller media organization or an independent guy were to have this happen to him, they'd probably have little recourse. And it's incredible, the, the mysterious Orwellian policies of YouTube. You know, they list, obviously, if you have animal abuse, if somebody's making bombs, doing drugs online, those are clear terms of service violations. Gambling. But they also... They also put in there that they just reserve the right to remove your video for any reason. And unless you're an establishment insider like Robin Thicke, who was the guy that Miley Virus was grinding with during her uh, Illuminati themed uh, video music award performance, you know, he puts out a music video with a bunch of women topless, which is basically porn. It gets flagged by the YouTube community. But because he's an establishment insider, they put the video back up. A bunch of porn on YouTube, but... Yeah, let's be clear. Sick. You're a media critic with a media degree who's been successful for a decade all over the country. They are censoring a critic they don't like who follows all the rules. That is dangerous. It's a very dangerous precedent. We're living in a society now where you don't need to round up books door-to-door uh, -door with the military. All you need to do is delete them remotely. As you know, as much of this audience probably knows... They can literally and have remotely deleted books from Kindle, from your iBooks, from your own device the next time. They were legally a, owned. The next time it connects to a Wi-Fi connection, it disappears down the memory hole, which is a term that George Orwell created. And the only reason that we know this is because some people in the tech field had their copy of George Orwell's novel, 1984, disappear from their Kindle a couple of years ago, and they started reporting on it. So if this happened to just your average person, they might tweet out to their friends, they might post on their Facebook, it's not gonna get picked up in the media. So we're actually very lucky that the Orwellian uh, book disappearing down the memory hole That's was right. even picked up. And now we know that literally with the push of a button, not only can they just remotely delete your book. They can delete your, your entire voice off the internet with the Shazam type technology. They can memory hole everything. That's what's so bad about cloud computing is you don't have hard copies, but, but let's expand. I consulted on Jesse Ventura's first, second, and third season. I was in four episodes each season, 12 episodes. And the one I was, I called Ventura at night when it aired. I said, I can't believe that just aired. Congratulations. And it was the one on FEMA camps, threat fusion centers, proving it all. Congress called up and threatened. This later came out in the news. Threatened Time Warner. Got it removed. It never aired again. They're supposed to air like 50 times because it had like 2 million viewers the first time. And then, you know, over and over again, they air it. That's how they make their money back. They erased it off all the TiVos and Time Warner boxes of people that had downloaded it to watch and later had to admit they'd done that. See, that's an example of the censorship, Mark. And when they censor you or me or anybody, they're censoring us all. That's why, don't thank me. When they were censoring you, buddy, they were censoring me. I took it like somebody was punching me in the nose. Because they, you know that they're going to come for anybody else next, and that's why they it's are a coming for battle. me when they go for you. They yeah. are coming for me. That's the it, whole it, people. So many yuppies think I don't care if something happens to him or her. I don't care as long as nothing happens to me. When you don't hang together, folks, you hang separate. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It, it's incredibly the the liberal establishment is particularly uh, known for just labeling something that disagrees with them hate speech. For example, we have the St. Patrick's Day parade last last week. And there was some gay rights groups that wanted to march in the parade with their signs promoting their sexuality. Well, th this is a St. Patrick's Day parade. This is not a gay pride parade. It's not gay pride day. 
no disrespect to the gay community, but it's not your place to be putting your uh, political and, and personal preference in technically a Catholic parade. And so the mayor, Mayor Bloomberg, or mayor, the, the, the mayor of New York, the new mayor, and the mayor of Boston said that the parade was anti-gay. And so if you were to just report on this, they could say, oh, well, okay, so you, you disagree with that? You, you disagree with gay marriage? Here, here's an you example. I was, I was downtown. Well, I was downtown with my children today walking the dog, and these two gay guys walk right up in front of the kids. They obviously knew who I was and started making out right in front of my kids. And if two adults were doing that, it'd be creepy and weird, you know, a man and woman. It's all about forcing us, throwing it in our face. I'm sick of it. it, it it's, a, it's a takeover. It is a cult takeover, and I'm sick of it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I mean, the military searched for, you know, researched a gay bomb. I mean, they literally wanted to use for, uh, pheromones and copulence to poison a population uh, of, of enemy soldiers and, and to turn them into homosexuals. There is an obsession with recruiting the children. Keep your hands off my children. Go ahead. Disney Channel. Dis the Disney Channel just introduced the gay character on one of their shows uh, owned by, you know, ABC uh, an affiliate. And yeah, no, no disrespect to people who have that uh, preference, but it's yeah, yeah, undeniable. Let, let, let's get that straight. Exactly. I, I'm not sitting here obsessed with what you do. It's not because I'm shocked by it and want to make you do what I want. It's that I'm sick of being force-fed this agenda of gay rights attached to a bunch of anti-gun, anti-family crap, anti-John Wayne crap. You do what you want. You let me do what I want and keep your hands off my kids' brains. Go ahead, Mark. That, that's what they're trying to do. And, and obviously, this is to break down the family, to break down the the moral fabric of society, to, to break down the nuclear family committed monogamous relationships. They want the state to raise the children. I mean, it's, it's basically hate speech now. If you just say that I would prefer that my wife would stay at home and raise the kids. Oh, well, you're misogynist. You hate women. I mean, that's you're being you're being bossy. You know, it's incredible. I mean, we briefly touched on Beyonce. Uh, the, the big celebrity Baphomet worshiping bimbo, as I like to call her, uh, with Michelle Obama saying they're just going to ban the word bossy. So I mean, if you, they want it literally. If you just happen to say that one of your you know, your boss or a coworker or a manager is just being a little bossy, that's considered to be you know like like dropping the N word or or, or uh, you know dropping an F bomb at the office. They want you to be fired. They want exactly. To How about we ban their control freak behavior? By the way, folks, you can still go to markdice.com. Uh, they've just restored his YouTube channels because of the major pressure and some connections. We have to get it reviewed quicker. Uh, but, but again, we all hang together or hang separate, as Benjamin Franklin said. And that's why it's important to support Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and the actual sites because or drudgereport.com or worldnetdaily.com because they can't shut those off as easily they've got to have more due process but these big multi-faceted third-party platforms they can shut us down on them we're still there we still use it because that's where the people are and we're in a war we're not going to be deterred from where the people are we're going to take it over in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. 
rates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter.